We often get asked the question, how many tests are necessary and where should the test be placed within a building? Uh, the ASTM F2170 standard for relative humidity probes in the concrete gives direction in section 10. It says perform three tests for the first 1,000 square feet of floor area and one test for each additional 1,000 square feet. So if you had 10,000 square feet to test, you would place 12 probes uh, spread across that area. It doesn't mean apply the first three probes within the first 1,000 square feet. It's just the total number of probes that have to be used for the area that you're testing. Now, where do we actually put the probes? How do we choose locations within the building? The standard does give us some direction, and it says select test locations to provide information about moisture distribution across the entire floor, especially areas of potential high moisture. For slabs on grade and below grade, include a test location within one meter or three feet of, an, of each exterior wall. So if you had a, a building that was, let's say, square floor shape, you're going to put one test roughly three feet or so from each exterior wall and spread the rest of them around generally throughout the floor. Uh, areas to concentrate on would be areas close to the edges of construction pores where one concrete pour stopped and the next day another pour was placed. A lot of times uh, there may be a questionable situation with moisture coming up through cracks or joints uh, in the floor slab, so it's a good idea to test uh, close to joints, uh, outside walls. Uh, otherwise, generally, just distribute the probes throughout the floor area to be sure you're covering the entire floor. Now, during the course of testing, there are going to be limitations based on the use of the building. And there may be pipes and uh, ductwork and lumber and things in the way. So you're going to have to make a choice case by case at each floor where the best locations are. Often we'll go out and walk the floor with the superintendent of construction and uh, find the best locations to try and represent the entire floor area. One other thing to watch out for is areas that might still get wet. If uh, windows uh, are not yet sealed in or doors uh, open and close frequently, stay away from those areas because the test results will be biased incorrectly.